Himalayas, take a look to your left. You will see the Himalayan tar, a species of mountain goat well adapted to life and height. The sure-footed tar has special hooves that allow it to move through rocky terrain of the mountain. Compare its thick curved horns with the sweeping hairs on the animal to the right. This is the Barau, also known as the Himalayan blue sheep, a background of blue-grey rock typically found in its habitat. Moving on to the rocky outcrop to the right, we have the Marco, king of all mountain goats. Adult male Marcos have impressive spiral shaped horns. Marcos are endangered due to relentless poaching for the ornamental value of their horns. It is the demand for animal parts like these that pushes many species toward extinction. Remember, you buy, they die. You buy, they die. Leave the foothills behind and wade through the marsh. You can use our striking great flamingos. Flamingos feed without ever looking for food. With their head upside down, they take in mouthfuls of water and strain deep of that. That must be sent is the unmistakable smell of an Asian small clothes. They sent mark their territory to keep unfamiliar otters away. Otters are highly mobile body, nimble paws, and sensitive whiskers. As we move into the clearing, look around. These are the Bara Singha, also known as Swamp Deer. In Hindi, Bara means 12, of rival stags during the mating season. After each mating season, the entries are shared with one another. True enough. Hear that? That is the sound of the striped hyena, the only hyena species found in Asia. These highly elusive animals have very powerful jaws that can crack open. Now, when you have hyenas, it's very likely that you'll see lions close by. To the right, these are Asiatic lions. Unlike their African cousins, Asian lions do not form very Asiatic lions used to be found across India and the Middle East, but the natural habitat is disappearing. Now they are restricted to a forest of South Asia and the Indian subcontinent. The sloth bear is not related to the sloth. Europeans call it a sloth bear because it has long curved claws and sometimes hangs upside down on a tree branch, very much like tree sloth. Also known as the Indian rhino, it can weigh over three tons. Observe the bumpy texture of the animal's skin and its distinct folds, giving it a segmented armor-plated look. While it may look tough, rhino skin is, in fact, very sensitive. Rhinos do not sweat, like you and I, which is why they are often found near water bodies. Wallowing in the mud helps them keep cool. With only 200 individuals, until the right moment. Spotted hyenas are not just scavengers, but formidable hunters too. They produce a variety of calls that communicate hierarchy, advertise territory, or together the family. These social animals form groups called clans. If you peer down the left, you'll be able to catch sight the cape buffaloes, grazing or taking a cool thing. These massive animals can usually be found near water. 
Males and females have heavy, ridged horns that are used for defense against predators. Males also use their horns for hippopotamuses. They spend most of their day submerged in cool water, emerging at dusk to eat their fill of grass. Their rotund appearance belies their formidable strength. In a few moments, one, we will pass a clearing of light where you might meet a pair of white African lions. These lions are not albinos. They are inocistic animals. While they lack pigmentation in their skin and fur, they retain the pigments in their eyes. African lions are much larger when compared to the Asiatic lions. The role of the male is to protect the territory so the females can hunt in peace. After the hunt, the males will have his fill first, followed by the females and lastly the cubs. The lion is the national animal of Singapore. Legend tells of Prince Samila Utama, who named this city Singapura or Lion City because he saw a lion when he first landed on the island. There's just one problem with that story. Lions aren't native to Singapore. Maybe the prince saw a strange animal. He plays nerve water. They spent plenty of time submerged using their long nose as a snorkel. Malayan tapirs are endangered. We are proud to hit it over distances using a series of whistling sounds. When they hunt as a pack, communicating like these allows them to launch a coordinated... ...gets its name from the whiskers growing on the sides of its face and across the bridge of its snout. Both males and females even the piglets have this beard. Elephant herds comprise mainly females and their young. When male elephants are of age, they leave the herd to live independently. Male Asian elephants spot tusks that they can use for defense, digging, stripping bark from trees to eat and more. Sorry be able to spot the king of night safari, Chawang. Chawang was rescued as an orphan near the Chawang River which inspired his name. One look at Chawang and the first thing you notice are his impressive tusks. like the Malayan tigers began hunting cows and other livestock instead. Do you recall them? Yes, this is our second pack of great dogs. Similar to dogs, they greet one another by smiting your right. These elusive bears are poached for their gallbladders and other body parts in the illegal wildlife trade. We support wildlife sanctuaries in Laos that work to rescue these bears from the trade. 